G'day guys, back with another round of Facebook Scrabble games. It's been a while since I've done a video, so um, I'm just gonna. Uh, what I'm just gonna do in this video is just go through my turns on Facebook. There's not many, but um, they're usually worth talking about. And um, I'll explain why I make my decisions, and um, yeah, we'll go through from there. So, um, first game, I'm it's start of the game, it's fairly even. Um, the rack I have is not terribly good, so uh, basically you just want to balance this rack. That's your main priority, and if you can score at the same time, then yay, woohoo. Um, it can't quite play venue across here, which would be a nice uh, um, word to get rid of the uh, W. Now, on this on this rack, you basically you want to get rid of this W, this O, and maybe another vowel. If you can, so something like uh, O W is not terrible. You generally want to um, you don't like you could could play like owned for example for slightly more points. It's probably not the best thing because you want to catch up. You you're behind a little bit, but it's not that bad. Um, in Dow or in Dow for for twenty six, it's okay. But uh, it's it's usually edged out by like O W O W A. If I could get Moa or something, uh, I don't think there's any extensions to Vernix. Uh, Oxbow might be nice if I had a B. Uh, can't quite get anything over here. Um, now the reason I'm sort of considering the O instead of like the I because the O and the W can actually get played out. Um, Play. I'm gonna. Okay, so let's just have a look. That's worth 18. How much is cow worth? 21. I might just play cow. Growling at me because I didn't play the owned. Now I don't like the owned play because it got rid of my nice letters. Um, I'm not sure if I've really got. Uh, I've got a bonus here next turn, but we'll we'll see. My opponent might give me an opening. Uh, I'm at least within like nine points. Uh, this game we're pretty much dead even. I think the last, yeah, I had a bunch of garbage in my last rack, but I was able to. I kept an F. I played this, keeping the only letter that really scores here, which was the F, and then I picked up some nice letters to go with it. So I'm still in touch in this game. Um, I can play things like this. That's not too bad, actually. Um, now, why would you play? Why would you play this and not try and get rid of your Q? Um, this scores a lot more than the Q spot. It takes the dangerous spot. Like this is, there's my opponent will use it next turn if if I don't, or they will try and block it or something along those lines. Um, the Q, there's no real Q spot here. Like if the Q, if you were playing in the Q, so okay, the 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 reasoning is so you'd have to get rid of that the Q, the Y, and an I for this rack to look any any things. Now if there was a U, U in the right spot for Yankee, then I might have a um, this word. Then I might have a, a viable alternative, but because there isn't, and it's pretty much it's pretty much dead. Um, whoops. Uh, this is this is a good play. Uh, yeah, so we're pretty we we're getting closer to bonus town. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next uh, things. I might be able to play like Hein over here if my opponent doesn't take it. Is this gonna work? Hello. Okay. Okay, that's good. Thanks, Mr. Scrabble. No, it doesn't want to work. All right, let's go on to the next one. Uh, so we've had a very um, volatile start to this game. Two bonuses each. My bone is now 14 points ahead. That's okay. Um... Okay, Q, K, is, K is what you want to get rid of, because one, it scores, and two, um, 
it makes the least number of bonuses. I'm a bit flooded with Val, so I'm going to try and get rid of some of those. Something along those lines. If I could get rid of the U and an O, like O-U-K would... It's about as ideal as you can hope for on this kind of rack, unless there's some kind of freaky word with these. Um, Kenaf is not bad, because it scores a lot. Keep the F for next turn. Or I could go for school. So this is this is the equivalent of going all in. Uh, I think I think we'd go all in. Ugh. Now I could have kept something and gone like thirty and then twenty eight, but if I could do that, so the equivalent is going thirty and I played this for 28 now, which means uh, it would be 58. So if I get 14 on this turn, I kind of equalize. The thing was, I couldn't really balance at all, even if I played EKE. And if I pick these letters, the Y or the or another A or an I, nah, it's not happening. Uh, I mean, there's a Z out as well. There's a Z coming as well. My opponent might have the Z and then I'm stuffed. So, basically, if I can get it before them, I might actually just play out everything. I might throw in. I can throw in all these tiles and then I hope to pick more of the premium tiles before my opponent does. Because there's the X and the Z to come and that's, that's worrying me at the moment. That'll be more valuable. Uh, okay. If you know any, that's my rating at the moment. I don't want to lose it because, you know, internet points and everything. My opponent's done the right thing and blocked. Now, I'll just check how many they've got. Now, I still don't have the tile tracking, but that's okay. <coughs> <coughs> right. I don't think there's any uh, anagrams of that. Hmm. Okay. So I'm 31 points behind. I'm pretty sure I can't win this. I'm going to give it a go though. So to do that, I've just got to count the tiles. So I start off with the vowels. So you can count in your own time or skip ahead a few minutes. There's 42 vowels, so my opponent has has no vowels. I can maybe exploit this, except I don't have any scoring tiles, which sucks. Okay. Uh, heavy tiles. There's 23. Excuse me. So, S's and S blanks are out. How about some S's? It's a real pity I couldn't play here. Uh, I'm 
Okay, so there's no heavy tiles. There's no valves. That's good because that... Okay, so why is that good? It means I can exploit my opponent. Because they've... With with four vowels, unless they've got something like a larnt or, or something with an S. Actually, I haven't checked how many S's are. Let's... Oh, crap. So it looks like... Oh, good. They've got two S's. Yay. Okay, so this game... Now, you don't, want to, you don't want to sound bitter or anything, but this means my opponent had all S's and all blanks. We're going to go so far to say... Oh, it, it's looking... It's looking like it too. I didn't notice that. Okay. So the fact that your opponent gets all the heavy premium tiles, etc., is not an excuse. And as you can see, I was very close to getting a bonus. Okay. So they have two S's. What else do they have? Maybe they've got two L's. Nope. One, two, three, four. D's, four, G's, one, two, three. So they've got R, N, S, T, something like that. Okay, so I'll just talk about, okay, so the threat with, that they've got with the S, they can just score here. If they've got S, T, they just score. So I don't think I can block this. I, I'd need to, I need to play the bonus now. Um... Oh. <sighs> so, so far we know that they've got SS. Looks like they've got an N. I'm just going to double check. No, they don't have an N. It must be an R or a T. If they've got two R's, this could get interesting. they've got one R, it must mean they've got another T. No, okay, so I've mistracked something. Went for the heavies, I went through the vowels, went through the G, L, D. I probably mistracked a V or something. Okay, I'm not going to waste any more time. I don't think I can win anyway. Now in the last turn I could have played something like Tetrad and I would have been stuck with just vowels. Um, don't think that's right.
just check that it's not a vowel, because otherwise I can go out and I want to block the block the spot if I can. Two, three, four. I might have counted this one. Seven, eight, Yeah, I don't know what they've got. All right, I'll just have to get on with this. Um, okay, this is not a good move because it doesn't leave me with an outplay. So when you're playing, when you're playing to win, or you or, or any game really, uh, you want to try and go out in two moves from a rack like this. So Etui is not bad. I'm just going to go with that. Now, why is that twee good? Well, it gives me Tor, um, which will be really easy to play just by default. If, if even if uh, even if I can't, don't have time to think. So I'd already created a spot for myself there. And you know, if my opponent just plays off one letter accidentally or something, or you know, I will I will score. So I can play there. I almost don't even have to think, like, because it's such an easy bunch of letters, but you always want to check. So, I can play out here, I can I can play here for five. Here is nicer. I think I can play... I can't remember if that's a fantasy word or an actual word. No, okay. That's unfortunate. Um... O R T rot rot yeah, all right. Moving on. Okay, so my opponent probably hit the opposite problem that I did. Now I think. Oh, Koyal and Noyal are mixing it up. Yorshio, playing out the T. So, these letters aren't anything that you want to keep. You might be tempted to like play the OY and go, oh, I can get 20. It's better just to exchange everything. And the reason for that is, there's all these yummy tiles in the bag that you want to get your hands on. And I've got none of them. <laughs> uh, Aerostat. Got aerostat through the S. Doesn't quite work though. This this is a better bunch of letters. So I can play like Stoa here next turn and leaving right, which is an excellent leap. I might have something for the EDE. Anyway. Okay. So uh that's it for this round of Scrubble Games. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.